Hello Capricorn and welcome back to a general reading with me, Soulful. All right, Capricorn, a uh, quick announcement here while I cleanse this area again. I've been feeling like I think it's time to smudge my house. <laughs> I really do. This is Palo Santo. For those of you that are curious what I'm burning, this is Palo Santo. Okay, so quick announcement, Capricorn. I have opened up, oh no, don't burn. I have opened up a Patreon page, okay? And you'll see the link to that down below. And for $6 a month, you'll have access, an all access pass, okay, to everything. All of my extras, all of my extended videos that will be coming from these generals are, will be there. I also do extra oracle reads, extra love reads, messages, energy updates, all that business for only $6 a month. You head on over there and uh, you will get the extended to this reading and future readings for all signs, okay? So yeah, go check out my Patreon page if you're interested in all that I have to offer, okay? Which is a lot. All right, my advertisement time is over now, okay? <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get into... I have a Capricorn moon, so um, also Capricorn South Node. Um, in a past life, I was a business person, most likely. So let's let's go ahead and get into this. I come naturally to this kind of stuff. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, what is going on for you today? What is going on in the world of the beautiful goat? Okay, I would like to know. This is a general reading, guys. Please use discernment. It's not going to hit home for all of you. Uh, cross watchers, I don't know if I've said this recently. You are welcome here. This could be flipped. The energy could be flipped for you. Feel free to flip the energy in your situation. Could be the other person, yada, yada. Energy is fluid, okay? So tell me. Tell me about our beautiful Capricorns today. What do they need to know? What do Capricorns need to know today? Ooh, page of swords. Okay, communication incoming or past communication with someone. So uh, I feel like you guys have definitely been talking to someone, a possible air sign, or this is you communicating with someone. I'm really drawn to the bird on here. Is that a cockatiel? One minute. I've never really looked at the bird on birds. Okay, there's a bunch of them. It kind of looks like a pigeon mixed with a cockatiel, but it's blue. Then we also have our blue jay. Oh, so lots of messages here. Some of you may be into birds. <laughs> I feel really drawn to that for some reason today, the birds. Okay, some more. All right, we've got the eight of coins. Working hard, wow. Growing, growing something big. Working hard on it. Then the Eight of Cups, eight, eight. Okay. Um, the eight, number eight, maybe popular, uh, popular, sorry, maybe, maybe important to you. Why eight? Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so Gemini, or Gemini, sorry, wow. You may be dealing with the Gemini. Capricorn, I can't talk. <laughs> I can't freaking talk. This is life without coffee. Let me tell you, this is life without coffee. Okay, so. Capricorn, I feel as though what's happening here is you are hard at work, okay? And you have been wanting to grow something with a person or someone has been wanting to grow something with you. I feel this is someone on your mind, okay, here with this page, this uh, like an air sign. And if it's not an air sign, it's just you want to talk, you want to talk, you want to grow something, you want to make sure it grows and you want to, you're going to leave behind a bunch of disappointment. I think that you want to clear something up here with somebody, Capricorn. You want to clear up communication with a specific person okay so let's go ahead and start getting into clarity you may be wanting to grow a, a future with someone tell me about the page of swords please for capricorn okay we have emperor in reverse possible fire sign Ooh. so yeah i think that maybe there was an issue here with uh with your person Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, I see what's happening here. You're letting go of this. You are letting go of unhappiness and uh, perhaps even a control freak, maybe an Aries that you had in your life. <clears throat> wow, I need to slow down. 
<laughs> okay, I have this problem sometimes where my mouth is not fast enough for my brain. I've given up coffee and this still happens. I need to like chill. Um, like I've got too much fire going on here. All right, so I'm gonna slow this down a little bit, Capricorn. I think that you were dealing with a situation here that was not good. Okay, it was it was it was a learning lesson. I think it was definitely a learning lesson about your self worth here. I think that maybe you were dealing with a person that was um, you you thought was your happy ending. Okay, but something about them. Something about them. Mm, not good. Okay. Let's get one more. Chariot in reverse. Yeah, there was some chaos in this situation. I think that maybe you were dealing with someone who uh, just just wanted to rule over your life. Okay. And it's, I feel like it sucked out your happy rainbow here. It just was not good and it maybe felt out of control. I feel like this was near the end. I really do because this is in your past energy here with the Page of Swords. You could have been dealing with an air sign with fire placements. But um, I feel now your communication with your higher self is a very important. Um, I kind of get that vibe here with the Eight of Cups that you are moving in a direction that feels really good for you. Okay, Capricorn. And I like that because this situation was not good. You may have felt in the past like you and this person were never going to work out or there was just something about it. I just get, why do I feel a mystery about this emperor? Hmm, maybe I'm going to have to explore that in the extended here. But I do feel, Capricorn, that um, the situation had to change here. Okay, and I feel it is now with the um, Eight of Coins. So tell me about the Eight of Coins, please, for Capricorn. You're working hard on something. I feel something new here, especially with this Page of Swords. Two of Cups. There was definitely a breakup, a separation between you and this past person. Um, I think that maybe they had issues, okay? They could have really been just a tyrant for some of you. This person was angry, okay? I'm getting that vibe. They were angry and they kept secrets for some reason. I don't know where that's coming from, but I feel like they did, okay? I feel like this person kept secrets from you. They may have lied. Yeah, okay, Ace of Wands in reverse. Mm. No more passion for this. Okay, it's like you're examining it here with the Eight of Coins. You know how he's looking at the book here and the card. It's like he's looking at the past and thinking to himself, I really lost interest. Okay, this, I, I lost, I don't know if you heard that, my stomach growled. I really lost interest in this past situation. You know, the passion got sucked out of it probably because the other person was a bit controlling. Okay, they may have tried to control the way, I'm hearing this, th this is what I'm seeing is like someone trying to control how the happiness flows, okay, between both of you. Like they were the ones who, who tried to control how it went. And because of that, there was, there was chaos. Okay. There was chaos. Like there was the, and you wanted to get away from it. I feel like you wanted to get away and boom, no more passion for this. Okay. A missed opportunity in love, maybe in passion, but I feel no, you, this person may have sucked your creativity out from under you. This is what I'm feeling. They may have done this. So now you're kind of escaping into work. Okay. So be careful Capricorn, how much you do that. I've been guilty of this myself. Um, be careful how much you escape into work to actually forget your feelings about this separation, okay, with this person. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel you're still um, not invested, but you're still examining what happened in your current energies and you're trying to figure out how to let these disappointments and the sadness go between you and this person. And... um. I don't think this person is trying to offer you anything. I don't. I, they may be trying to communicate with you. They may be trying to get to you still here with the Page of Swords. This could be them in your energy. Really immature communication, though. Um, not, not the best. Just like kind of, I feel it's like a hey, what's up kind of situation. Okay, Capricorn. But I feel you are just like, no, I'm not paying attention to that. 
I'm, I'm looking at what happened instead and I'm going to integrate it and I'm going to move forward here with the Eight of Cups. So tell me about the Eight of Cups, please, for Capricorn. Um, you may be looking at each disappointment and starting to pay attention to red flags so you never encounter a person like this again. Okay, this is a tyrant. This kind of person is a tyrant. Okay, we have Knight of Cups. Wow, okay. Okay, Capricorn, you may be wanting to offer your love in a, to somebody already. You may be opening up to something else and you're closed off from this past situation. And if that's so, you may have a lot of love for this new person. And if it's not you, there is someone who is going to bring this to you. Um, they could be currently a, a water sign offering you some love. Okay, here, but you're so focused on the past disappointments and you don't really feel any passion yet for this person. Okay, so let's get um, two more. Nine of Cups in reverse. All this emotion here and this energy, this future energy, there's so much of it. Um, like I said, some of you have really, uh, in your present energy, are working through trying to, um, you know, you're, go you, you're, you're, you're burying yourselves in work. Okay, I feel some of you are really doing that in order to avoid all these emotions. But I feel whoever this person is, whether this is you opening up your emotional center or not, or another person coming in to get you to open up, you know, you're starting to realize here about all these, this dissatisfaction with the past. Okay. And you're looking at it and you're saying, I, I want, I want a 10 of cups. I want my nine of cups. I'm trying to focus on myself, but for some reason you're still drawn to the 10 of cups. You want that last cup despite it. So I, I feel maybe you're really within yourself Okay, you are focused highly on yourself, even though there's this love here. We have Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, um, you know, Capricorn, I do feel that disappointments, okay, uh, depression, sadness, anything that has to do with this past situation here with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, uh, look at this. We've got Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck here. Some real conflict, okay? inner conflict, inner turmoil as well here with the past. So before you embrace love, before you offer your cup out, even though you're thinking about it, I feel you're trying to get that last cup and give it to yourself first. And that is okay. This does seem here that you're cutting off communication with the outside because you're more focused on your inner. And there's nothing wrong with that either, Capricorn. But I do feel be careful, okay? Because if this is a person coming towards you that wants to offer you love here with the Knight of Cups, like I said, a possible water sign, um, be receptive. You might want to try being receptive. But we'll explore this Knight of Cups here in the extended read. All right, let's get three more cards here for you. Tell me about this Ten of Cups in reverse past energy, please. Tell me about the Ten of Cups past energy, please. For Capricorn. Temperance in reverse. Ooh, this really tested you. Okay. I feel like some of you had to reach out for help or reach out. Um, you know, you, you also grew like impatient with the situation and you realized it was not balanced for you there was no happiness here because this other person was trying to control it okay I feel that they were dictating what happiness was that is really strange Capricorn who does that okay but I do think here with the, with temperance um in reverse like you realized how, now how imbalanced this actually was okay and you want something balanced now and be patient with yourself Capricorn you're healing right now I feel like you are okay there was definitely a separation from someone um here it is page of cups again yeah you know this is all about these emotions over here we've got so many cups over here in this future energy eight of cups nine of cups knight of cups page of cups um four of cups okay your emotions like I think right now in your current energy, you're just now looking at it, okay? Because you had, it's like this happened 
And once it happened really fast, because of the chaos of it ending here with the chariot in reverse, it, it brought you to this space of where you kind of just, like I said, you started escaping into doing something else. It didn't even have to be work. It could have just been focusing on family. It could have been focusing on your, you know, doing something fun or whatever it was that you did. But now, okay, that the passion for that situation is gone. Boom. Page of Cups is here to communicate your inner emotions um, to open up. Okay, let's go ahead and ask about this future energy here. Tell me about the Knight of Cups, please. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Yeah, do not block your emotional communication with yourself. Here it is, Hermit, Virgo energy. Wow, okay, Capricorn. Follow your guiding light, okay? Uh, when you're trying to sift through all this disappointment, you see this, Eight of Cups, Hermit, Okay, both of these cards here have this light, this light right here. Okay, he's moving, he's moving away from all these cups. He's moving away from this and he's following this, the hermit. Okay, he's following his inner guide. So, you know, to open up these emotions and let them flow, whether this is a new love that's coming in. Do not be afraid to trust yourself because I think that maybe what happened here in the past really created um, an issue where you just kind of blocked out everything else. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get you some advice. You can do it, Capricorn. I believe in you. Let's get you some advice here. What advice do we have for Capricorn? A new romantic cycle begins. Wow. Okay, so there's definitely a Knight of Cups here coming in for some of you, not all of you. This could also be a romantic, new romantic cycle. It's the scales of Libra. Libra is all about relationships, okay? But I do feel here um, you are definitely being asked to not only balance yourself, but if you have new love that you're trying to offer or give to balance yourself out before you, you know, accept because there is a cycle coming there is something new for some of you coming in or you're new you're wanting something new okay because you weren't very satisfied with this past situation let's go ahead and get two more cards let's let's get one more actually one more we have surrender to the divine yeah let your feelings flow okay allow surrender this past situation because i think that it caused you just um just a little bit too much uh, of like an escapism attempt. Like instead of facing your feelings, like you, you escaped it instead. So you may want to surrender this past situation. I don't know if you do any cord cutting or anything like that. It might be good. Um, you don't have to follow my advice. I always say that here. It's just what I feel. Um, it's entirely up to you. Okay. Let's get um so a love message for you and then we're going to take this on over to the extended for my patreon for my patrons over on my patreon what love message do we have here for capricorn give thanks for the blessings of love are soon to come your way oh my gosh that's the knight of cups okay know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires Nine of cups in reverse, okay? Whatever that last cup is that you're looking for because you're dissatisfied within yourself, it's coming, okay? Or you're going to reconnect with yourself and let go of all this. Hermit, you guys may be in hermit mode trying to think about all that happened and release it, but there is real love here for you, Capricorn coming in, okay? All right, that's what I have for you guys. If you want to follow me over on Patreon for the extended of this video, we're gonna explore this Knight of Cups here. We're gonna explore a little bit of the separation and about how to help you get through these feelings. Um, we're gonna get some advice from Spirit for you. Okay, that's what I have for you guys. Oh, feel free to also book me for a personal down below in the description box. You can see that on my Fiverr or you can email me, okay? You can find me all over the place. Later, Capricorn.